Welcome to BuzzBooster.tv. I'm Shahar. And I'm Nash. Today we are coming from Streaming Media Streaming West. Streaming Media West yeah, 2013. Is, yes, this is a conference that talks about a lot of, of course, streaming media, live streaming, a lot of technical stuff. Yep. And the reason we want to talk to you today is that we saw a recurring topic in many sessions. Yes. There was the storytelling part. Storytelling, crucial. You know, I would say even that we are really coming to the age of business storytelling. That's right. Right? If we don't pay attention to that, we are not going to have success in our endeavors with video content, right? So here, we, we watched a very interesting um, conversation about this, the, the new way of storytelling, uh -huh. where some points were highlighted to make a successful video, because it's way more than what camera you use and yes. what kind of device, all those things are important, but the fact is that if the story is not well told. If the content isn't good, you, you don't lose get, your audience. Yes, exactly, and without an audience, who are we? Right. Right? Okay, first, uh, first one that they pointed out is that we now live in a liberation of format when it comes to video. Okay, what does that mean? Tell us. That we don't have to stick a story to 23 minutes or 43 minutes, yes. right? We are not constrained anymore by, by those barriers. So we can go with the story for as long as, as we want to, uh, and that is necessary. Th I thought that was a very good point because up until now, traditional media, the timing mm -hmm. was, it's crucial, it's elemental because of advertising and all of that. It had yes. to be, you had to be, you were constrained to that time frame. Mm -hmm. And now, like you said, it's as long as I need to make it interesting or as yeah. long as my audience needs it or however much, I have that ability to, to fluctuate the length of my, my content. Exactly. Now, of course, we know that depending on the device that people are watching your yes. content, uh, the length of a, of a video tends to have more traction or less traction. We, yes. we all heard that online video should be about five minutes, for example, right? right? And sure. people watch on their phones, on their tablets, uh, on everything. But the fact is that if the story is good and is, it is engaging, people will watch. So, so that needs to lead, not if I should be using yes. five minutes in online so video or not. So it's true. De depending on the the device that they're watching your mm -hmm. content from, typically by by nature of use of that device, length matters. In other words, if it's on TV, it's usually longer. If it's on an iPad, it's usually shorter than if it's on uh, on the computer screen mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But what you're saying is, okay, it's true. These lengths vary according to devices. However, mm -hmm. don't don't create your content based only on, on that. The, that exactly and not only that we also need to understand that now people consume video ca content in different devices so you will have to find a balance of the time for your story that will accommodate those devices unless you choose to use only one yes. you only do online video then well, you go short and that's it but, but then why would you do yes, that right and, and you we have to be uh, available for them to consume us however they want yes okay so you will have to find the balance for your audience because and for your different topic, audiences different, different behaviors yeah exactly okay? the other thing that they brought out is that we now also have liberation of distribution okay not only distribution in devices like we just said uh -huh. uh, platforms you can be uh, on a over the top boxes at the, at the same time you're online at the same time uh, you're streaming live right so you have complete freedom here on, on distribution but the point that you have to take into consideration is how consumer cons uh, consumer uh, consumption behavior is really happening in your audience okay because again different audiences different types of behavior uh, but you need to pay attention to that it's crucial actually when you are providing content online that you think about how your audience behaves you need to know your audience yes I was talking to a show host like yesterday here right and we asked her about her audience and she was not clear on that and and that's a major problem you it must be 100 percent mm -hmm. crystal clear who, who your audience is to. yeah because then you'll you know you, you, it, it'll make your life so much easier on so many levels because number one the content that you create mm -hmm. you will know exactly who you're talking to but then also the length or the device or everything everything else will basically be answered by having that 
yeah that question answered and not knowing that can cause several problems for yes. example one of the sessions we just attended was about house of worships right yes. and how they are going online now because more they know more. they know they have to stream their their events yes but when they go most of them think that they are going to be reaching millennials and those are the ones that are going to be the new followers but what's really happening well what's really happening is that audiences 65 and over are the ones that are really watching mm -hmm. like on roku and so forth yes or Which people that were attending uh churches and decided to quit yes of also uh 60 and older which you know it's I, a surprise it was such a surprise mm -hmm. to me for instance because that's the one thing like you just said you would expect that the the younger generation is the one watching online or on roku etc mm -hmm. but the fact is that those folks they're used to you know it, it it's one of those things like they're used to to watching tv they've been doing it for many years yes well it's not a very large it's not a very large gap mm -hmm. to actually watch their 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 service their the worship on tv exactly to the point that the churches that uh, figured that out that the real audience uh, was really in the seniors they started giving roku boxes to the nursing homes yeah and allowing people to watch the services I from there i thought that was so cool because yes. they, they gave they so they'll give the roku box with their channel already installed to the nursing home and they'll say hey mm -hmm. here just plug this on your tv and then those folks who want to watch the service but can't really make it to the church for all any they reason have to go do is go to the common area turn on the tv turn on roku and bam and watch a live event watch a live event on their tv yeah so you gotta know who your audience is yes okay not assume and don't make assumptions that's exactly yes, what yes. i was gonna don't say. make assumptions exactly now the other thing is you know the power of interaction we all know consumers want to interact it's not a one way anymore that i i read let's use the term preach i preach and people uh, they want to interact yes they want to be a part of it they want to be a part of it's it and show. we have some successes for example the last episode of breaking bad yes w what happened well it was the number one tweeted episode on history of television exactly is we was huge like huge. the series scandal for example tweeted like over what was this like over a billion i was just an astronomical figure yes so so for example i'm more of a on-demand watcher i like to go whenever i have time and watch the shows i want yes but you have people for example that love scandal like we do the tv show but they the, <laughs> not yes <laughs> not not scandal in their lives the scandal the tv show and they want to watch it uh uh, you as, know, it's live, as it's as live, it's airing, uh -huh, because they can go on Twitter, so that they and it's a huge phenomenon there. So that they can participate in this extra conversation, that's this parallel conversation that's going on at the same time mm -hmm. as the show is airing. Exactly. So it can be huge, yes. right? To engage your audience and allow them to participate. Now, here's the problem. Tell us. N nobody really She's knows. Always looking at the problem. I know. I'm the glass half empty kind of girl. But, you know, everybody is really looking on how this is really going to happen. At this yes. point, nobody really knows. Nobody knows. Uh, they know that second screen is massive now. And yes. most of us do. I know you do all the time. You watch TV with your cell phone. It bothers her. Yes, it bothers me because I'm an older generation. But that's what's happening. And many times I see myself with my tablet watching TV while doing something on the tablet. Second. Multitasking is typical of your of your generation and they love to do it and they'll keep on doing that right yes so that's a huge opportunity for shows to really ask for interaction yes the Let's issue is how the issue is how and yeah. the way that we've been seeing it is like if you watched uh breaking bad or or, or watch the walking dead mm -hmm. uh the moment the show starts they'll say hey tune on to this this website for your second screen experience yes and then as you're walking watching, dead does that yeah the walking dead mm -hmm. did i say that well uh, maybe you did I, maybe i didn't <laughs> whatever but anyway as you're watching like let's say i i've done this a few times especially with the breaking bad season finale and mm -hmm. i thought it was so cool and i actually regretted only i regretted waiting until the very last, last episode one. to yes. actually try it yes but what was very neat is okay so the break comes on and then they have trivia they have they they do polls and you can vote and so it's very interactive mm -hmm. and they don't lose you during the break they don't instance, yes exactly because you're engaged with the show 
even while the ads are on TV. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it tells you when the show starts again. So yeah. it's, yeah. So interaction is already happening. Yes. It's going to evolve. And the food for thought, if you're a content provider, if you make videos, is really how you could foster that. Maybe you are the one that comes with the, the golden key for yeah. this, but you know, you, you have to understand it's coming, it's important, and you have to be thinking ahead say, and thinking how you're going to provide that. And, and really quickly, yeah. don't think that it's only for the big companies. It's like, okay, sure, but I, I'm, no. I'm, I'm not the, the production company that the people behind Breaking Bad, uh -huh. you know, so don't think that it's only for the big guys because the fact is that if you understand how consumers are behaving mm -hmm. and you understand the trends in your own shows, even if you're a smaller business owner, mm -hmm. you can adapt and make it so that it aligns with their current behavior. This is a good time. It is. Really for you to wake up and understand that you're not looking for millions of views in whatever content you're producing. This is less and less going to be true. Yeah. You know, we saw some people here saying that what's really going to happen is have a multitude of, of platforms and channels and shows and each person which is a couple of hundred viewers that's right. quite possible to have yes but those couple hundred people will be super super aligned and super engaged with you and your real audience yes. which again for business owners can be a huge deal it matters more than yes. just numbers right yeah. I'm talking you don't to need a million customers need right to. you need yes. good a bunch of good customers that are willing to buy from you over and over again that's, that's all right. you need so take this concept of millions of views that's for for a cat videos you know yeah. and, and and stuff like that you know but what I think? not for business i think that's kind of the the old school mentality traditional television mentality kind of seeping through to this new model mm -hmm. so back then or with the traditional media millions of views matter yes a lot more now than they it's matter different. nowadays because it's too broad mm -hmm. but with online it's not it's yes. very specific it's very narrow we have specific content for a specific audience and exactly. that's what you're looking for let me give you some data entrepreneurs like Ooh, data, data okay so here we have Tell uh, us. adults today in the u.s adults. spend 40 minutes on average a day consuming video online video content 40 minutes a day yes so uh, for you to have an idea there adults uh, yeah adults that's that's yes. a crucial point yes uh, there was a hundred and forty percent growth in video consumption in the last year a hundred and forty percent a hundred and forty percent just in the last mm -hmm. year and guess uh, who is the winner when it comes to prime time? Who tell us? No, you tell us. Well, okay. Netflix, it's actually quite I was astounded when I heard this because during prime time, so it's from six to to ten, to, to 10 or something like that, they consume thirty percent of the bandwidth. So thirty percent of all the internet that you can think of. Don't fly. <laughs> is actually consume, being consumed by Netflix, by people on Netflix. And when I heard that, I thought, wow. Yes. Because you know what? That's, That's exactly what we exactly do. That's exactly what we do. Yep. It's like 8 p.m. we'll sit there and we'll just do Netflix. I think and I have this light on my face. Yes, you do. <laughs> and you know, they call that binge watching. At least that's what we do, binge watching, where we'll watch like 10 episodes of, of scandal or of damages scandal, like yeah the one in one sitting exactly people so again understand behavior has changed has. and for you as a business owner you need to adapt to that yes. and understand that and it's n not just the younger generation like exactly. she said just with one stat adults for instance 40 minutes a day of video yeah. consumption yeah I'm, I'm i'm guilty of that now what people like to watch Tell in us. categories so really fast news news number one cooking, cooking. Wellness, wellness, business and economy, business and economy. Exactly. Yes. So those are the, the main categories that people and uh, here are some suggestions on how you can have a hit show. Suggestions. Uh, three things for you to think about if you're trying to uh, produce online content, a uh, video online content. OK, okay? so f first of all, your video needs to be promotable. OK, that this is not only uh, OK. I can have advertisers and sponsors is a question you have to ask if your content uh, could host that. But also, um, how, how, oh my goodness, I just forgot. Play.
think it's just a blank age factor oh uh, to have your unique voice to, to have your show in a very personalized way you don't want to copy what's in traditional media no. you don't want to go exactly for the same it recipe has to be unique to you unique to you that's very very we important want you mm -hmm. The second thing, second it needs thing. to be sn snackable. Snackable. Yes. When you're producing, Meaning? well, when you're producing content, you want it to stick. Okay, have, you remember on traditional TV, on series, you would have the cliffhanger that yes. would make people come back again. To the next episode. Well, you don't have to use that tactic because maybe what you're, pr what you're producing is really not episodic. Mm -hmm. uh, in that sense, but what makes it stick and creates engagement with your audience? What elements, what things can you do that will create engagement? Yes, and of course, if you heard up to this point, we already told we you. We talked about a few. A lot of things that you can do really to create engagement. Yes. And the last one is shareable. Shareable. Right? You need to make it very easy for them to share your content. Yes. Provide the them word. with all the social buttons. Everything. Use your leverage in social media to ask people to share. Exactly. Okay. This, according to Yahoo, is the recipe for a hit show. According to Yahoo, huh? Promotable. Promotable. Snackable. Snackable. And shareable. shareable. Okay, so these are the things that you have to think in your show. If you're doing that, fantastic. Keep doing. If you're not, how you can improve See how that? how you can do it. Yeah, improve yeah. it. Good, good stuff, right? Excellent stuff. You know, for us, it's the same thing. Every yeah. time you share, you give a thumbs up, you leave yes. a comment. That makes our show get you more traction in whatever device you're using. Yes. Okay, so take, take a few seconds. Give us a thumb, thumbs up. Leave your comments. Yes, tell you us know, what you know. What do you think. like and you don't like. We, we have thick skin. Yes, we do. What you don't like. Not really. I cry every time somebody gives me a thumbs she down. She does lose sleep, but that's okay. <laughs> that's she okay. Gets over I have it. to grow. Yes. And, and share. Tell your friends about it Spread because the word. that's what makes us keep doing this. Okay? And I think that's it, right? That's it. Okay. See you next time. You know what? Go uh, take action. Go take action. Go share, take action. share. Well, share <laughs> and in your own in your own videos and your yes, own things. Yes, of course. But go take action. Yes. But take care of our share. But do, 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 yeah, you can start with <laughs> start with sharing the word. Yeah. You know, you get used to share and then, yeah. you know, ask it's us to share yours as yeah. well. It's like good karma. Yeah. All right. See ya. See ya.